truth. Here it is. Fifteen seconds of the truth. My eyes, what color are they? Are they... Maybe... A few different colors? Black? Obviously. The whole of destiny. High. The consciousness of unseen. The black hole. It's an inverted bubble of sorts. Bubbles have all colors. Reflective. Transparent. Infinite rainbow of colors, because rainbows have infinite colors, obviously. These black holes, they destroy color. Boom. People think they're the fate of man. Maybe you play fate. Maybe I play your hate and turn it into love. Yeah. Quit being so weird, man. You know what's funny about life? I just do whatever I want. No one can tell me shit. Wow. What's that? Well, it was covered in wax for a while. But the other day I decided to wake it up because someone joined my tribe, the Barefoot Lotus Tribe, or the BLT. It's the best tribe in the world. It tastes like a sandwich. <laughs> and honestly, it's pretty good. And that, that bacon, it can be vegan. It doesn't have to be bacon. And the bread, it can be gluten-free. It doesn't have to have gluten in it. And you know what? I'm perfect. Duh. Because <laughs> I am you. And you are nothing like me. Obviously. So, let's begin the session. This is a dojo. Don't you know you play a game where it go on and on and on and it turn into something else and then it turn into something else and then another thing happens which makes you feel like you should do this now because your heart is telling you to do it. And my heart tells me to dig. I say, dig. Dig at it. Just find it. Find the light. Find the Buddha inside. Find the heart. Find yourself, obviously. Wow. My life is nothing but a dream. I plug it in through the wall. Duh. <laughs> you see that? I had to unplug everything else just to get my shit running. And when these hang, because these are supposed to be hanging. See, now they're stacking, they're building the geometric energy. The time and space continuum knows one thing. You have no idea what's in this bag. Oh, I show you, but I don't show you. So I show you nothing but everything. This bag was made in Istanbul, Turkey. The Turkish came here and they wrote our constitution, I believe, or helped, or had some influence. I don't know. Maybe history repeat itself over and over. <laughs> cool. Or not cool. I don't care. I made this, kind of. Still shining after like five years, four years, five years. Wow, time's elastic. This is a long time ago. I don't know how long this thing was made. This is probably the oldest thing made. This thing was probably carved in the early 1900s or maybe even earlier. I have no freaking clue. It is the rooster in turquoise carved in, um, well, turquoise. The gentleman who sold it to me couldn't tell me where it's from. I imagine it's from China. Yeah. This is from America. This is from Deer Creek, Arizona. Thanks, David Penny. I love you. You are truly a man of your word. You are someone who I look up to and always will because you told me the truth, even though I didn't like it. And you know what? The truth comes out. It's very real, isn't it? Time takes itself a long time to find you and to show you exactly what you are, who you are, who you need to be. And I had a father taken early, so I looked for a father figure. And I wanted him to be that, and I realized he was not that. I am the father figure. We are all the father figure. 
we have a figure in us that we need to go figure. And you know what? It's funny because I know it doesn't even capture it, but I don't know how to show it's really there. You can't. You won't. You never will. Just burn like a freaking fireball. Holy Jesus. What's going on? That's a spicy meatball. I mean, I don't know how to explain what I see. Maybe it's just the camera angle. Maybe I shouldn't even move it. It should just stand, stand still forever. In Buddha position, lotus smiling in the sun. As time and space rotates around it, showing its true nothingness. This thing's a piece of crap. Well, it crapped out of the earth. And the earth said, hey, check out this crap. Duh. <laughs> I love my life. It's just a big joke. It's a game. I say life's a game. Well, I'm pressing all the buttons. <laughs> How many buttons can you push? If I had a CD player, I'd push it right now. There's a TV, but that thing sucks. And even if it played music, I'd rather just... I can't even say it. No TV, please, no TV. You put me in a room with TV and you force it on, that's when I'm going to smash shit. I'm going to destroy everything. Don't you know who I am? Huh. <laughs> Smiley face. Who I am. <laughs> and this is where I stand. In California, man. Costa Rican sand. Still in the mind of a man. Found you shit. Play you play. How I go all day. It is the fractal I say. Don't you know it's the wave. Eternal page. I'm just blazing. I blaze every day for 20 ways. Wow. He ain't even real no more. He just a fractal in time. He don't know how to film no more. He just a man in due time. Who know nothing of nothing of something of one thing. Now's all we have. Divine with the brightest. Bling. I don't know, life's so simple, it's just in my heart. It is. It is. It's like just the breath. Uh, breathing in, out, in, out, in, out. <sighs> Yummy. Well, free is good, but sometimes free will kill you. So don't be always taking the free route, people. <laughs> I've seen that firsthand. I went down the river one time. And it was cold, and I was in that thing, and it was like pulling me away. It was like showing me, like, hey, you're going to die. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, are you serious? The, the earth's going to take me right now? I was like, hell no, I'm going to fight back. And guess what I did? I tried to put my foot down at the bottom of this river in California. Actually, this is Colorado. See, the memory is just elastic. It all just blends in. And I was with my ex-girlfriend at the time, and she was talking about going tubing in, Col in Colorado. And I'd never been tubing before. And she took me on this river I was not supposed to go on, for sure. And I had the tiniest tube in the universe. It was like a tube that was the size of a donut. <laughs> I, was trying to, I was trying to make it all like squiggly biggly and I swear she fell out first we were in the river for maybe 10 seconds before she fell out and she had a look on her face of death of like I'm gonna die I'm gonna die and of course me being dumb and real and in the moment I jump in and swim after her to realize the current is just we're fucked. River's got us. River. It flows. And you better go to a quiet spot. Because where it's raging, you might die. Duh. So literally, what do I do? Because I don't know anything. Because I've just never been floating down a river other than like, okay, the river's going to take me forever. Or my girlfriend just is on the bank over there, so i got to stop. 
So of course I try to put my foot down, and what happens? It gets caught between two rocks. And literally, the river starts pulling me forward, and my foot's coming forward, but it's not coming forward because it's stuck between two rocks. And and the flow of the river is pulling me, and literally, right as I'm about to go under, I just remember taking the biggest breath, just like, ah, live! And fucking, literally, my, my ankle dislocates in the rocks, and it comes free, because the rocks don't move. They're big rocks. And I remember being set free, like, and I remember just taking a breath and swimming for the fucking side of the, the. and I'm, I get out, you know, and she's, she's over there. My, my ankle goes back in almost instantly after it dislocates. Cause I remember it was like, bam. First thing I do when I react, when I get a dislocated ankle, cause it's happened about six or seven times to me is to just cringe. But this was just to like, let it free. Just like, let it float. I see, cause you're going to die. And it just popped back in when I took like the first paddle swim. I gotta plug up. Oh, it's gonna die. Of course, I gotta break everything. And 